Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be directly comparing the FE and PE courses from School of PE and PPI to pass. I'm gonna cover how each program is structured, what the classes are like, pricing, and where I see these two prep options winning over one another. So if you're ready, we've got a lot to get to, so let's hit it. All right, so to kick things off, I just wanna mention up front here that since I'll just be sorta of limited to just talking about the big ticket items in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, we have a full detailed written comparison over on our website. If you wanna check that out, an easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight School of PE versus PPI to pass. That's a quick way to find it. Okay, so let's kick this comparison off by doing a quick overview of each company's prep course and looking at how they stack up in terms of features. And I'll start by saying this. School of PE and PPI are very similar. I mean beyond similar. They're nearly mere images of each other. Each program works around the same core set of components. And if I didn't know better, I think one copied the other when designing their study package. So here's how both work. Each course revolves around a digital student portal that houses all of your study materials. For PPI, it's called their learning hub. And for School of PE, it's called their study hub. So from this hub, you'll be able to access all of your materials, like your personal study plan, practice problem sets, performance metrics, and recorded video lectures. So let's break down these features. For each company, you have your choice of two different course formats, on-demand or live online. But for both companies, no matter which package you go with, the course is essentially the same. It's really just a matter of whether you need the accountability and structure that comes with live classes, as well as the ability to ask questions in real time, or whether you're good driving your own studies. And that's because the video lectures that make up the backbone of your learning in the on-demand packages are just recorded live classes for both companies. And honestly, it's not just the structure of the packages from both companies that are similar, even the layout of their online lectures are the same. They both have a picture of your instructor in the upper corner, and as they speak, they mark up the on-screen slides with notes and problem breakdowns. And each even has the same chat box for students in their live class version to ask questions. I'll get to my more granular thoughts on each here in a minute, but overall, the two are eerily similar. In addition to the live classes and video lectures, most other aspects of both of these courses are the same as well. You'll get quiz generators from PPI and School of PE that allow you to build custom problem sets based on whatever parameters you set, full-length practice exams to test yourself under exam-like conditions, personalized study schedules that are created to fit your availability and exam timeline, and of course, books. With School of PE, it's their FE Civil Exam Review Guide, and with PPI, it's their FE Civil Review Manual. And actually, that's probably a good point to make clear that we took and reviewed the FE Civil course from each company, not the other FE disciplines or the PE course. But with that said, the materials, tools, and structure for the PE and other FE disciplines are the exact same for each company. Essentially, everything is identical between exams, except for the difference in underlying content, of course. So while we only took the FE Civil course, this analysis today still applies to the other FE disciplines as well as the PE courses. But anyway, the manuals from both companies are basically study Bibles, and once again, are really similar. Each is packed with content review, equations, sample problems, and figures and tables. They're loaded with material and probably the most comprehensive study books in FE and PE prep. Though there is one major difference between the two. School of PE does this cool thing where they incorporate QR codes into their books. And when you come across a practice problem, you can scan the QR code in the book on your mobile app and get a detailed solution. Essentially, they try to integrate this review guide into their digital materials in their study hub. It's actually a pretty cool framework. Anyway though, that's how the programs from each company work in a nutshell. And I know I covered that pretty quickly, so if you wanna see a more detailed breakdown of exactly how each course plays out, be sure to check out that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so before we jump straight into my thoughts, let's briefly cover pricing, as this is an area that's actually pretty important and where these courses differ a bit. With School of PE, you're looking at around $1,400 for their FE Live Online package and $1,500 for their PE Live Online package. While with PPI, you're looking at around $1,800 for the FE Live Online package and $2,900 for their PE Live Online bundle. And the price points are proportionally the same for all of the on-demand packages as well, though usually a couple hundred dollars less than their live online counterparts. So, you probably don't need me to tell you that on average, School of PE is more affordable, generally coming in a few hundred dollars cheaper than PPI, with the biggest disparity being around the PE live online courses. 
though it is worth mentioning that those are just the full retail prices. And both companies frequently run sales and special promotions, and you can usually snag a discount on these courses. So be sure to check for coupon codes before buying. In fact, I'll do my best to keep the description below the video screen updated with the most current discount codes that might be floating around out there. So make sure to check that out and save yourself some coin if these courses end up being the right fit for you. And by the way, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest and helpful content all totally free. So if either course does end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you'd use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and allow us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. And if it turns out that neither course is the right match for you, it's no problem at all. I just wanna make sure that you get matched up with the right prep course, and we have a ton of other helpful review videos that you can check out. Okay, so now that we've covered pricing and how the School of PE and PPI study programs work, let's get into the good part, where I think each course wins over one another. And let's start with School of PE. The first area where I give School of PE the win over PPI is in the category of books. I just prefer School of PE's review guide to PPI's reference manual. And I know some people out there are gonna call me crazy for that take because PPI's reference manual has been the gold standard for about a thousand years, but it just feels like School of PE has done a better job keeping up with the times. Their text just feels more streamlined and to the point, while the PPI reference manual just can feel heavy handed at times. And when you combine this streamlined nature with School of PE's new QR code system for integrating digital problem solutions with the print book, it's simply awesome. So I give School of PE the nod for print materials. All right, number two refresher notes. Before every class or with every on-demand lecture, you get a series of refresher notes with School of PE, and they are really helpful. These note sets are essentially just instructor handouts and summarize everything that you need to know about the topic that you're covering for that day in 30 to 50 pages. And I don't mean dense pages, they're almost more like slides. They contain bullet pointed key notes, sample problems, and test taking tips. They are a massive value add in my opinion. Okay, my third pro here is the School of PE Study Hub. The bottom line is that both companies provide these digital study hubs for students and they're both good, but I just like School of PE's a little better. It just felt more organized and intuitive and I never had to hunt for anything. Not a huge point I know, but for OCD brains like mine, I personally think it's a better setup. Okay, last point in favor of School of PE, price. And I know I just covered this, so I won't harp on it, but on average, School of PE is a few hundred dollars cheaper than PPI. If your firm is gonna pay for your prep course, then great, it doesn't matter. But if you're paying for yourself out of pocket, a $1,400 price tag versus an $1,800 price tag can make a big difference. All right, so those are my pros for School of PE. Now let's flip sides and talk about the pros in favor of PPI to pass. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter, everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes less than 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free School of PE or PPI course. Okay, the categories where PPI wins, and I just have two of them, though they are both very important. So the first is live classes. So after taking live classes from both companies, I personally prefer PPIs. Their lesson plans just feel more efficient and streamlined, and the instructors did a great job of keeping things moving all while managing to pick up student questions and provide clarifications where needed. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't a massive disparity here, but all else being equal, I like PPI's live classes better. All right, number two, problem solutions. And this one's pretty simple. While I love the practice work from both PPI and School of PE, and found each company's practice problems to be a highly realistic version of real exam questions, the PPI problem solutions are more detailed and better explained. On average, their explanations just seem deeper and better articulated. Plus, for whatever reason, the PPI diagrams and figures that they used to help demonstrate points just resonated a little better with our team. But anyway, that's all I've got for you in the way of detail in this review. So let's get to my final verdict. Should you use School of PE or PPI for your prep? Well, I think this is a really close call and honestly, I'm not sure there's a black and white answer. I'd probably say that if your firm is picking up the tab for your course or you're just not price sensitive and live classes are important to you, then I would go with PPI. You really can't go wrong with them. But if you're picking up the tab for your course yourself and you prefer self-study with an on-demand course, then I'd likely lean towards School of PE. On the whole, given the price disparity yet equal quality of their program, School of PE is likely who I would go with. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, 
make sure to hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.